got a ban. Red ban. Why is it so dark? Red ban. Like, yeah, right. anniversary. Let's celebrate our year with a heavy cigar that pretty much tastes like normal cigar. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we got one of the cigars that I thought I was gonna try it out. I didn't try it out. I don't know how it happened. In the end, Eric sent it to me. So, here it is. Room 101, 14th anniversary cigar, which uh, I don't I don't know why they do that. Why? Why? I know sometimes designer want to play with some like look to this, but this doesn't look right. Anyways, so yeah, smoke one if you have one. Eric sent this to me because for some reason I walked by a few times and forgot to buy it. So thank you for Eric uh, sending this over to me so I can actually review it. Now, this cigar is 6x52 Toro, retail for 14 bucks, And I reviewed the 13th anniversary, I believe, and that one, I believe it sucked. So, we'll see if this one redeems itself uh, being another year, you know, another year wiser or something like that, right? Now, they didn't disclose on how much cigar they made. They say that AJ Fernandez made the cigar. So, I would think they has or probably have this like a universal, everybody like kind of flavor. We'll see. So, let's start. Damp cedar, ooh, and pepper, ooh, all right. Damp cedar, and let's get it started. The draw is actually good. Hmm. It's like it's leather. It's probably cream, and this raw green bell pepper that skin part. Yeah, that scam part taste. It has a little bit of that green pepper seeds as well. And wood. Mmm. Yep, that's pretty much it. Let's light it up. Today is one of my eating days, so I should have some food. Peppery?
Bonyar. A little bit of bitterness and maybe dirt. Grain. Leather. I want to say there's something else there, but it's pretty much it. It's not very apparent. Yeah, there's some bitterness to it too. Okay, let me smoke one third and we'll be right back. Please do good. Please do good. Okay, first stir. You know, first stir wasn't good. First stir tastes very heavy. Char, ashy, um, dark note. Not a lot going on. It's still some fruitiness to it, but it's so dark, so char, so dense. This is definitely a medium to full, if not full already, taste. But it has, like, it, you can't tell any flavor. It's just so heavy. You can only tell there's some smokiness. There is some dark, tart note, a little slightly fruity. And that's pretty much all you get. If you do retro hell, you get a little bit of like a, maybe a semi-sweet floral note. And then burn. Just pepper burn. There's nothing going on. I, I don't. I'm really hoping this didn't get better because right now it did not start well. It did not start well. It's heavy and nothing else. So, second third. Be right back. Second third. I don't know what to say. I mean, I heard, I think I heard Eric talking about this. So, so that's not bad. I, other than strength and some fruitiness, the rest is just like. Burn taste. Tart, burnt, woodsy, ish. Pepper, strength. That's all I taste. I really don't know what's the hype about this cigar. It did not taste amazing at all. I don't know. I don't know. But let's take a look at the band. Red band. Why is it so dark? Red Band. I don't like how they do that. I don't I don't really understand it. I think 13 had the same thing, but it's 13 is gold, I think. This is just black. I, I don't understand it. So Yeah. I guess draws your attention. You're like, what the hell is wrong with this? And go try to go. Uh, no, it's not. So yeah. I think this is gonna be a flop of a cigar. I, I don't I don't see anything about the anniversary about this. I just know it's strong. It's dark, it's charred, it's... I don't know what to say. I'm drinking a coffee with it. And that kind of makes the coffee taste bad. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, Laster, finish this up. You're right back. <laughs> done, finally. Like it's one of those things like, finally, is it going to be done yet? Done. So, it tastes like a very... Typical strong cigar, all right. And, and I, I will uh, advise against this cigar because this cigar tastes like a maybe a seven dollar, eight dollar heavy cigar, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. I don't know what what what's so special about this cigar that you can actually consider it as an anniversary. It's like yeah, anniversary. Let's celebrate our year with a heavy cigar that pretty much tastes like normal cigar. It's got wood, it's got a little bit of fruity, fruity, fruity note, and that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. I, I don't taste anything particular, I don't taste anything that will shock me, I don't taste uh, 
flavorful flavor that will make you go like, ah, yes, you know, just nothing that will bump it up to 12, 13, 14 dollars. It, it's like a seven, eight dollar cigar. Not very good cigar. But again, it's room 101. What are we expecting from room 101, right? So it is what it is. Anyways, nevertheless, thanks for Eric taking the plunge, pay for the cigar, so I don't have to pay for it. I hope uh, uh, the cigar help you from making that purchase decision for this particular cigar, okay? So that will be the review for today. Um, I hope you like it. If you like, like, subscribe, and um, share. Also, want to mention, this channel finally got membership functions. So if you would like to join the membership function, go take a look at the membership video uh, and, and, you know, consider it. So that will be it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.